Hunter Biden is scheduled to be arraigned later today on misdemeanor and felony tax charges in Los Angeles just one day after appearing on Capitol Hill. So you may have noticed this person in the purple jacket sitting by the side of the president's son. His name is Kevin Morris. Here you see him. It's like a purple plaid jacket. CBS News has learned he's a, quote, personal friend who prosecutors say has been heavily funding what they call Hunter Biden's lavish lifestyle. But here's the question. Why? Our senior investigative correspondent, Catherine Herridge, has more on who Morris is and how his financial support could leave the president exposed. This is the home along the famed canals in Venice Beach, California, where Hunter Biden signed a two-year lease in early 2020 for $17,500 a month. According to prosecutors, much of the rent, approximately $200,000, was paid not by the president's son, but instead by a personal friend. CBS News has learned that friend is Kevin Morris. Oh, you know, Hollywood's been very good to me. Uh, we have the quotes. At Hunter Biden's side Wednesday, as House Republicans moved to hold the president's son in contempt. What is Hunter Biden afraid of? Morris is a prominent Hollywood attorney who brokered lucrative deals for the creators of the animated sitcom South Park and the Broadway hit The Book of Mormon. Morris's latest project has been helping Hunter Biden. No one should be above the law. An IRS agent involved in the Hunter Biden tax investigation told Congress Morris spent nearly $5 million on behalf of the president's son. According to prosecutors and other sources, payments include $11,000 on a Porsche, purchases of Hunter Biden's art, and a loan of more than $2 million for Hunter Biden's back taxes. The payments and the timing have drawn the attention of Republicans running the impeachment inquiry into President Biden. What is Kevin Morris getting from Hunter Biden or from Joe Biden? These are things that we need to look into. Morris and Hunter Biden reportedly met at a political fundraiser in 2019 as Joe Biden launched his campaign for the presidency. Folks, America's an idea. A month before Super Tuesday, Morris sought to get Hunter Biden's outstanding tax returns filed, writing in an email, we are under considerable risk, personally and politically, to get the returns in. An accountant for the president's son explained to an IRS investigator, unpaid tax could generate media attention. What rule does that break? Well, it seems to break some of the rules of politics. Caleb Burns is an expert in campaign finance law. He says the money Morris gave Hunter Biden doesn't appear to meet the narrow standard for an illegal campaign contribution. Morris has not been charged with any crime. Going forward, could the Kevin Morris money present a legal issue? Yes, if President Biden were to take official action to benefit Mr. Morris. In a statement, an attorney for Morris said his client has not asked for or expected anything from President Biden or his administration in return for his support of Hunter. When Hunter Biden vacated the Venice property early, a source familiar with the matter claims he left tens of thousands of dollars in damage, months of unpaid rent, and Morris to clean up the mess. In a text message obtained by CBS News, the president's son assured the landlord, Morris will work something out with you. He has been very helpful to me and has assured me he can help to resolve this ASAP. The White House did not offer any comment, nor did an attorney for Hunter Biden, who recently told the L.A. Times Morris is like a brother to him. If today's court hearing is like the others, Kevin Morris will likely be at Hunter Biden's side. Tony. Got it. Catherine, thank you very much.